Welcome to the National Button Society's Capturing the Magic of Buttons series of button craft tutorials. This tutorial features a button lampshade. The National Button Society is providing this series of tutorials in response to its members' increased interest in using their non-collectible buttons in artistic ways. This series of No Harm Button Crafts and the other button craft ideas on the National Button Society website support its mission to preserve all that is beautiful and historic in buttons. National Button Society membership includes many benefits including quarterly bulletins and online button education resources. You can see more about what membership offers you online at nationalbuttonsociety.org. The lamp and shade being used in this tutorial were bought together at a thrift store. The open plaid design guided the placement of the buttons. You will not likely find this exact lampshade, but whatever type you do find can inspire ways to show off your buttons. You might find ones like these that were found on local sales sites. It would definitely be fun to put buttons in those circles or come up with a circular pattern for any of the plain lampshades. Use your imagination on ways to decorate with buttons. The supplies you will need to complete this craft are a lampshade, buttons, category 6 wire, also known as cat 6 wire, for mounting the buttons, zipper or trim, scissors, exacto knife, and a hot glue gun. Okay, let's get started. Step one is to use an X-Acto knife to cut holes into the shade where your design is planned. Stick the knife blade about an eighth of an inch in and twist to create a circular hole. The plaid on this lampshade suggested buttons at every cross point, so holes were made at every intersection of the red and horizontal vertical lines. Step two is to gather and choose your buttons. Because of the red and green stripes on this lampshade, red and green buttons were chosen, giving it a Christmas feel. All the buttons chosen for this project are sew-through buttons. In step three, you will put wire on your buttons to mount them on the lampshade. This method being used to mount the buttons is called no harm because the button can be easily and harmlessly removed. If you are absolutely sure the buttons you choose are uncollectible buttons, you could use glue. Just be real sure. Red, black, and green wires were used to mount these buttons. Black wire was used because it looked better on the dark green button than the bright green wire that was available did. Thread about three inches of wire bent in half through the holes and then into the hole you made on the shade. Twist the wire into a circle on the inside of the lampshade to hold the button tight. In step four, attach all your button choices to the lampshade. For step five, measure around the top and bottom rims of the lampshade so you can be sure to get the right size of zipper or length of other trim. Remember, when considering a zipper, when you open the zipper, you'll have two lengths to use, so that will double its labeled size. For this shade, we needed 42 inches of trim. This bright red plastic zipper was also found at a thrift store. To prepare it in step six, unzip the zipper and cut across it close to the stopper piece on all ends of the zipper. The zipper pulls will slide off the ends. Now you will have two lengths of zipper to use. In step seven, you'll start at the back seam on the lampshade's top and glue on half of the zipper. The zipper teeth should be pointing up and positioned just above the shade rim. 
Wrap the zipper around until it meets where you started and trim the end to fit as close as possible to the start of the zipper. Next, do the bottom rim. If you don't have enough length of zipper to encircle the entire bottom rim, like what happened on this lampshade, you'll have to piece it with the excess from the top. Start by finding and marking the front of the shade. You can just eyeball it directly across from the back seam. Mark the spot on the rim. Now fold your longest length of zipper in half and mark the middle on the inside of the zipper. Align those two marks and put glue there to hold it on the lampshade. This time the zipper teeth are pointing down and they hang just below the shade rim. Wrap both ends of the zipper around the bottom, gluing as you go. If you need to add the excess zipper from above, position the ends to fit right next to the previous ends as neatly as possible. And you're done! Congratulations! We hope you enjoyed the National Button Society's Button Lampshade Tutorial. For more button craft ideas, button education, and information on state button societies and local clubs, visit nationalbuttonsociety.org. Also, look for us on Facebook. We're planning fun contests and opportunities for members to share button craft creations. You can also share your creations or ideas with us via email at creative at nationalbuttonsociety.org. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Bye now.